Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I already showed you how to do the S, the I, and the X, but specifically this video is just to show you the shaker on how to do it for the letter I. So um, for Tiana, if you remember, all right. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you a couple things. So where I bought the file, um, I bought it from Etsy from Nomara Quintella. Um, I bought the letters, numbers, and symbols because it was $18. So for another $4, you get everything. No brainer, right? Okay, so I'm glad we agreed on that. Okay, so I, that's where I got it. Let's go to Inkscape. Okay, so we need to bring in the letter I, so go to import. Now, with this file, I love it and it was recommended to me, um, but you have to download each one and upload each one. So, so far I've only uploaded the ones that I've needed to. Um, so that's the letter I, and where's my I? Here it is. Okay, so here's my letter I, I'm gonna click okay. It's gonna come in and it looks like it's blank. Just click on a color so that it gives it color. Then the next thing is I wanna make it bigger so I can see better. <laughs> so let's lock this file up so that we can make it really big. Okay, so with a shaker, instead of doing an offset and making it bigger, we need to go and make it smaller. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your arrow, which it's already highlighted, and this is highlighted right now. It's the selected image. We don't wanna have anything selected. So click in the white space. So see nothing selected. Go to your paint bucket, <clears throat> pick another color, any color. And I'm gonna do it by, negative 15 sounds good, but let me see what negative 20 looks like. Let's click on negative 20. So normally when we grow, it's positive 20, positive 10. So without the negative number, you don't have to have the plus sign. But when we want to shrink it, we need to put the negative sign and then click inside the space. Okay, so that looks good. So let's click on the arrow key. So that's all we need from Inkscape is to get this little insert, okay? Grab everything, path, object to path, file, save as. So I'm gonna save it as 3DI insert, okay. Um, let's go to Inkscape. Okay, so this is all there. We're gonna recreate this, okay? But we're gonna go to Upload, and I'm gonna show you step by step. <laughs> go to Upload Image, Browse, and it was 3D I, there it is. Okay, so we want this, Save. And then click on it and Insert Image. Okay, so first, let's ignore all of this, okay? So I'm gonna delete this now that we know what it's supposed to look like, because I don't like showing an empty space when you first look on my video. <laughs> let's make this bigger. Okay, let's first determine how big we want the eye, okay? I'm gonna make this seven inches to match the seven inches that we I just did in the previous video for the S, I, and X, okay? So the, what you wanna do is we don't need this, um, this is just a visual marker to tell you that the circle, this piece right here, starts here, and then it goes down and down, and then this piece, this square, starts here. So the square starts here, then it goes up this way. I feel like with these, because at most I've seen is three tabs, it's kind of obvious where things go, right? Like these two long pieces of the eye, it has to be these two pieces. So once you put it down, everything else fits. So I'm not concerned about that. I'm gonna go and delete those pieces. So here's my circle, I'm gonna delete. Here's my square, I'm gonna delete. Now, when you're resizing, we wanna resize by the letter. So you want the letter to be the highest thing of all the images that's on the, on the screen. And right now it is, right? Because these two inserts, so let's ungroup it for a second. These two, oh, let's ungroup it a little bit more. <laughs> Okay, these two, you just wanna make sure it fits in, in within the eye because we're gonna take grab everything and resize it so that everything gets sized, resized properly. Okay, all right. So we're gonna grab everything and we're gonna make the height seven inches. So when our eye is seven inches, all of these pieces now fit, okay? 
Okay, so to, let's ungroup this further because it's still grouped. Okay, we need to make our foam, right? Our foam that's gonna go around the eye. So I'm gonna arrange and bring that to the front just so that we can see it. Okay, what you wanna do is you wanna grab these two items and you wanna go to align and center it. Okay, now that it's centered, you want to slice it. This is now our foam, okay? <laughs> I'm going to change it to a different color. Okay, so stick with me, right? You build your box. This eye, we're going to need another one, so let me duplicate it. Okay. So we build our box. So imagine this is the bottom of our... That eye is the back, okay? These two, when you build it, it's going to sit on top of the eye. This eye is going to sit on top of that. So that's going to be our top layer up here. All of this will be on top of that eye, okay? So here's our foam. So here's the top of our eye here. You're going to put the foam on top. You're going to pour the sequins in, right? Put in all the sequins, and then we need a cover for the sequins. The cover for the sequins is going to be acetate, acetate paper, right? So this is, I'm going to change this. Is this the full one? No, this is not the full one. This is the full one. Okay, so let's duplicate that because it's going to sit completely on top of our foam and cover our sequins, but I'm going to change that to a more clear color. So that's my acetate paper. Then I want the pretty purple border, right? I'm gonna take my foam and I'm gonna duplicate it. This is gonna be on top of my acetate paper and it's gonna cover my foam. So all you're gonna see right now is my pretty purple outline, purple cardstock, glitter purple cardstock um, with the sequence in the middle, okay? Um, what else do we need? We don't need this insert. That's your shaker. Then we have Tiana. So we're gonna bring in Tiana. You're gonna upload, um, view all. And I bought Tiana, so on Etsy. Do you like seeing all my images? I'm one of those nosy people that I like to see what's on your computer. So something like this would totally make me happy. <laughs> all right, so here's the printable image. I like that one, let's insert her. And just as a reminder, um, the way I did this was, I'm gonna duplicate this eye. For me personally, I cut Tiana so she is in the shape of the letter I. So what I did was, here's my eye, I'm gonna bring it over. And we need to resize Tiana, right? Cause she's so big right now. And let's bring her to the front. See, I feel like if we did this, you, you can't tell, is that a T, is that an I? Um, I don't know, could it be any other letter? It could be an L. <laughs> we might, you know, she might be covering the L there. So the way I did her was I put her on this side and then I grabbed her and I sliced it. so that this is what she looks like. So I can still see the rest of the letter I. Now I chose Tiana for the letter I for a reason instead of the S or the X, because I felt like she's already, um, you know, like the same shape of the I, so it makes more sense. But I like being able to see the shape of the letter. If you don't, then you can just leave her as whole, okay? Now, the other thing that I like to do is, well, not like to, I have to do it because my printer prints well on just copy paper. So this is gonna print on copy paper, but I always cut on in cardstock so that she can sit on top of this and be sturdy. That's it. So now we can get rid of this. So let's talk through all the pieces that we have, okay? So let's go, oh, the other thing that you need to do is for this file, if you buy it on Etsy, we need to attach these score lines. So just grab that and attach so that these cut lines are actually gonna cut exactly where you see it. So as well, and I'm gonna 
before we attach this one, I'm gonna go to make it just so you can see what it looks like if you don't do it. So here's the print and cut. Okay, so this piece was the one that we attached. This one we did not attach. So see how all the cut lines, they're just random somewhere else, right? We don't want that. We want it on this piece exactly where it should be as designed. So what you do is you grab this one and you click attach. And you know that one wasn't attached because now once it's attached, the only option you have is to detach it, okay? All right, so let's talk through what we have here. You have these little pieces, right? So once you build it like this, it's gonna be standing up. You have the bottom of the eye, which is this. Then you have these pieces sitting on top. You have your topmost layer eye is gonna sit on top. That is your standard basic 3D letter, okay? Then we're gonna put the foam on top of that eye. So you put the foam on top of the eye, you pour your sequins in, <laughs> sequins, glitter, whatever, then you put your acetate layer on top. So this acetate paper is clear, so you can see the sequins, it fits right on top, it's gonna seal in your sequins, right? Then you have your pretty purple glitter cardstock sitting on top of the acetate paper. Then you have Tiana sitting on top of that. And there is your 3D letter eye shaker. Can you hear it? Okay, that's it. That was fast, right? All right, post comments, questions. Tell me if I'm crazy. I didn't add it onto the previous video because I felt like it was already so long. So that's why I separated it to this one to do just the shaker piece. All right, um, let me know if that was helpful and then also what you wanna see. And if you have a special project, I'm here to help you. So if you give me the details, I can create that tutorial for you and for everyone else to learn too. It might be something that they wanna learn and um, you need to recreate it as you follow along. So then you're learning, it's a great learning tool. I'm not enabling you, I'm helping you. <laughs> All right guys, bye.